guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows. We've got some things to talk about in this video that you guys have sent in. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to be answering some of your questions. Send them in on the community tab right now or leave them in the comments down below if you have any theories, questions, topics or ideas. Okay, so the first question is coming from Topsy Crypt on YouTube who asks, Why don't they film the Arrowverse shows? And he puts in brackets, Black Lightning, Supergirl, The Flash, Batwoman, Legends, in the US, in America. Why do they have to be filmed in Vancouver? And he emphasizes, why do they have to be filmed in Vancouver? Alright, so that is a very good question and we brought it up like over the past years since, you know, we've been doing this channel and everything like that. It's a fact the CW DC TV shows film in Vancouver, but what is the reason? And is there any specific reason why they can't film somewhere in America? And I'm guessing this question is brought up due to what is happening right now in the world and it's probably going to be a little bit harder for most of the actors to come over to Canada, to Vancouver to film. I'm presuming that is why the topic of this question was brought up because, you know, they have to travel from America to Canada. Currently the borders are shut at the Canadian-American border, so yeah. Anyway, so why don't they film in America? Well, the easy answer is it's much cheaper to film in Vancouver for them. So, say, take a show like Supergirl. Remember season one, that was on CBS, another network, which is significantly more, you know, wealthy, and they put a lot more money into their shows, into the budgets of their shows, and so that's how they are able to film their shows in America in total, like, big hotspots like LA in Los Angeles. That is where Supergirl season one filmed and that is one of the most expensive places to film in the world, I'm pretty sure. And so even looking at Supergirl season two when it moved to the CW and they had to move production up to Vancouver, it saved them a lot of money. But again, you can see a little bit of difference. The budget went significantly down and yeah, so basically the reason they shoot in Vancouver is to save money a few of the CW shows do shoot in America, so Black Lightning that you brought up actually does shoot in America, that shoots I believe in Atlanta or somewhere like that, I could be wrong about that, but Black Lightning definitely shoots in America, some of the other shows do, but most of the DC TV shows shoot in Canada, so that is Supergirl, The Flash, Batwoman and Legends and Arrow used to shoot in Canada as well. So yeah, the simple answer is Los Angeles is too expensive. They could move them to another place in America, but they're not going to do that because they set up Arrow in Vancouver and most of the CW productions are actually in Vancouver. So like Riverdale, Supernatural and everything, they all shoot in Vancouver. So Vancouver is like the base for the CW essentially and then they do a few productions here and there in America if that suits them better maybe. So that is the answer for you. So good question. So the second question comes from Sarah Varga on YouTube who asks, what do you think is going to be the finale of the new season of The Flash? And do you think there's going to be another season? And also she puts in brackets, I love the channel by the way, even when the show's not on, you are doing great. So keep up the hard work. So thank you very much, Sarah Varga. All right. So to answer your question, what do you think is going to be the finale of the new Flash season? Well, currently we don't particularly know as to what they're going to be doing this next season, but I think when we will get some sort of indication of how the season of The Flash will end next season, so that is season 7, will be once we get to the mid-season. Once we get to that middle point of the season, we kind of know what the next graphic novel is because Eric Wallace, the showrunner behind the show, has said that it's not going to be a normal season, so it's a little bit harder to predict because there is going to be multiple graphic novels. So the way he explains graphic novels is they're like sections in the season with different villains, different stories, and they all kind of add up to the final one. So I reckon once we get to about episode 10, 9, somewhere around there, we'll kind of get an idea of where the season is going towards the end. And so the second question from Sarah is, do you think there's going to be another season? I think yes, for sure, because Grant has said that he wants to continue doing this till like season 9 I think he mentioned or like 10 or as long as he can basically do it because he's still interested 
and he is contracted to season 7 but he wants to continue his contract so it's really down to Grant as to when he wants to end the show and then the show will end. The CW will never cancel The Flash. Okay, so that's a really good question. Let's move on to the next question. This comes from Scott Decker on YouTube who asks, Number one, he's got two questions. Will Alex get a name for her vigilante role? So that is a good question. I like this. This really caught my eye when I saw it because, you know, at the end of last season of Supergirl and, you know, I'm presuming going into next season, she had a new superhero costume, this vigilante costume, because she's going around. She's not part of the DEO anymore. So she's essentially a vigilante helping Supergirl. So we're presuming with her costume, with everything, surely she's going to get a superhero name like everyone else. Like even James got one, he was Guardian. You have Nia, who is Dreamer. Obviously, Kara is Supergirl. And, you know, everyone gets a vigilante name. So by that standard, she is getting a vigilante name for sure. And I don't know what it's going to be. But I'm really looking forward to seeing what that is. But yeah, she's definitely getting one. Okay, so number two, this is your second question. So will we see any new or old villains besides Leviathan in the next season, for example? And Scott puts Silver Banshee, Psy or Midnight. So yeah, we are definitely going to get some old villains. Every season you get to see at least one person you've seen in the past. Last season it was Lex, and we saw many other people like Lillian Luther show up, and a few other people here and there. So yeah, every season like the CW shows always bring at least one villain back or so, or normally like multiple. And obviously besides Leviathan, it seems like Leviathan is going to return because of the way they ended with Gemma and her becoming that kind of psycho robot at the end of the season. Also besides Lex who is definitely coming back because they didn't finish his arc with Lillian Luthor. But yeah, Silver Banshee would be a great pick, I love her. The last time we saw her was in the Supergirl and the Flash crossover like a long time ago that was during season one i think that was the last time it's been a very long time we've seen sai in multiple seasons and midnight there is a chance i don't know if any of those characters will specifically return but i'm saying someone is going to return next season at least a couple of people so yeah that is my answer to your question all right moving on to the last question of the video is Kara going to get married? I think the first thing we have to talk about, about this question coming from Adelaide Archpeak on YouTube, is, is Kara going to get into a relationship? Is she going to be with anyone else this season? And the answer is probably yes. She is probably not going to get married this next season, if that's what you're asking. But she is probably going to be with William because they have set that up. And Melissa has said in interviews recently that they... Are doing a sort of slow burn into that relationship and last season they didn't really like completely do it at all like they kind of set it up but there is more to do and they're going to explore more of that so i'm guessing kara and william is eventually going to happen obviously i'm not against them happening i know a lot of you guys are but a lot of you guys do like them as well however obviously monel would be the best thing if he ever came back however i don't think that's going to happen so i'm kind of moving past that kind of accepting oh anything is going to happen with Kara like that's fine it's up to her and so yeah probably she's going to get into some sort of relationship this next season because it's been like two or three seasons so it's been a while and it's a CW show after all they love their relationships and they love their kind of dramatics so I'm saying Kara and William is probably going to happen in this next season but as to Kara getting married I don't know how likely that is that would be definitely not next season so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Remember to go over to the community page or comment below if you have any other questions, topics, theories or ideas that you want to be included in one of these next videos in the next couple of days. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see.